I am Stephen Cooney, I am the, the Quake bar, bar manager at the Craig Ellicott Hotel. This is the first question, when anyone comes to the bar and they ask for a whiskey, the first question I ask them is, are you a whiskey drinker? And if they're not a whiskey drinker, this is the first time. It's very important that we, want, we get them to come back and try whiskey again. So the first thing I don't do is give them a peated whiskey because <laughs> that's the first way of scaring someone off. Generally when someone new that has, they're, not, they're not a whiskey drinker, we'll start them off something light, something like maybe a Balvenie or something like that. It's quite a light, you know, beautiful spirit but quite light and easy, easy place to kind of start with. Basi basically I think when, when you're coming to put a whiskey package together, it's important that, to me that you have an offering for different, lots of different types of whiskey. Obviously you, you wouldn't, if you're not having a thousand whiskeys, you can't have every whiskey from say Laphroaig or Clenfiddich, you wouldn't have the full range. But it's, I think it's important that you would have a, you know, a nice, you know, everything from the nice gentle floral, kind of slightly peated to really peated, and you would have, you know, an offering from, every, from the whole, going the whole way. I don't think you can call yourself a whiskey bar if you only have one type of whiskey. Uh, we will have, you know, whiskey from Japan, America, Australia, all around the world. We'll have a good selection of whiskies from around the world, but the majority will be from Scotland. A lot depends on where you are in the world and what, what kind of style of whisky that, that your country or even a region where you're living actually enjoys on that. that. That's very important that you know, your clientele, that you're catering to the clientele and to, to what, they, what they like. Because that, that, at the end of the day, that's, a, you know, that's the most important thing. That if you've got, you have the best whiskies in the world, but if your clientele don't, don't like them, they're not going to sell. The stories are what make the whiskey, you know. I can t sit and talk about whiskey and say, you know, this whiskey's been aged in this cask for this length of time and then it's transferred into this cask. But I think it's more important to me that they like cool wee stories about the distilleries. I, I get a lot of my stories from going to the distilleries and you meet the people that make the whiskey and they're the ones that tell you the stories and, you know, and that's what makes whiskey, you know. It's, it's not just a drink then, it's, you know, it's, you know, there's a, there's a whole story behind the distillery about how the whisky is made and where it's came from. My favourite story to tell is, is about Laphroaig and about how it was the only spirit that was ever allowed into the United States during Prohibition because the Americans thought there's no way someone's drinking this for pleasure. <laughs> to, get to get some more of the other younger people that are not drinking whisky and maybe haven't tried it because they think, no, whisky is horrible or whisky is an old man drink, you know, serving it in a different way, making nice, nice, lovely cocktails with whiskey, and that definitely helps and definitely is, is part of the reason I think that the whiskey industry sales have just gone through the roof because everyone's, everyone from young, old to really old are drinking it, you know. There is a whiskey there for everyone, you know, and a lot of, I love when a girl comes to the bar and orders a whiskey, I think there's nothing hotter than a girl who comes to me and asks me for a whiskey, and I thought, yeah, no problem at all. Uh, some people tell me I don't like whiskey, I just think you've not found the right whiskey yet, because there is whiskey, the, the, the flavors are so so diverse.